Hello everyone, this is Avantgarde Music. Today I just want to show you a sound card which I relatively see that is not that common. His name is Audio Box. Now I just got it and we are going to be using it to connect our setup here. So as you can see. Moreover, I want to unbox it now, as you can see. Let's see what is inside. We have a USB port. We have the driver installation. In it. And here is the sound card, as you can see. So, LGV is a USB sound card, so you don't need to power it with any other thing other than USB. Now, now a quick review of the sound card. This is it. This is this is how it is meant to be connected. As you can see, we can use a bass guitar microphone. That's two input. Then it has a port for headphone. Then port for monitor. It has MIDI input and a port to connect to, to the computer. Uh, yes, here we are the installation driver is on and this is my mac and quickly i want to show us how to set it up now on the menu it is it is to be known that um we don't need to install any driver but for window users you have to install the driver so i'm quickly going to audio menu you can see it's already there my audio menu setup so I'll just go to the app, you can see my app, this is my system inbuilt microphone and the output, but yeah, you can see this is the audio USB, so before my input and output were here, but now that the sound card is here, I just have to, you know, click on it, so now let's check, this is as we can see, our installation is on our window I'm trying to figure it out so you can see universal control let me click on that so let's wait as it loads an instance of universal control is already running because I clicked it twice. Allow access, as you can see. This is it. It showed me driver installer universal control. And here is the tip. Now, when I clicked on the tip, yeah, I was able to understand that audio Mac class compliant. I mean, for Mac book users we don't need any no necessary driver is needed so for installation so now for window I clicked on the universal uh, control installer and let's see what is there you see driver and software for window 7 win uh, 8.1 window 10 which include 32 and 64 bit compatible on all OS so that is it so this is it and I think I prefer I prefer it this way so for window users this is how you are going to install though I already installed my setup once you click on it it's going to bring out something like this now my installation is complete. Now it's asking.